Right, guys, so we're just getting ready for Pilates. Just lift that up so I haven't got to lean over to speak to you. Don't worry if you haven't done Pilates before, I teach it from base level and then take it a little bit further for those of you who want to go to that next level, so that's absolutely fine. Um, if you've got back problems, now Pilates is very good for helping to strengthen the back, using the core to help as a kind of structure to keep the posture in place. So that is gonna help with any kind of niggles that are going on in the lower back. Obviously, if it's severe lower back, then make sure that you've got yourself cleared by your GP um, to be able to join in on that one. Um, if you do experience any pain or discomfort with any of the exercises, take it down a level, or if you're already at the base level, then take a little rest and join back in when you are ready. So you are gonna work through the course, so you should feel a certain amount of work help, um, happening, all right, but it shouldn't be to the point where you're in a lot of pain. So, let's get in your standing position first, and then we will run through the exercises from there. Okay, so toes and knees point forwards, shoulders down relaxed. Make sure that you are balanced, you've got an even distribution of body weight across both of your feet. You don't feel like you're leaning or lopsided. I've just got to put my um, app on so I know where we're going. Making sure then that we've got a neutral spine. So what we're doing is tilting the pelvis forwards and backwards. We're finding the position where your back feels the most comfortable. You've got that natural lordotic curve in place and you've got that line coming from the head all the way down to the heels. We then need to find and engage the core muscles. So thinking about this muscle that we use to stop mid flow. Okay, imagine that that muscle is attached to a lift and I want you to draw it up from within all the way up to floor 10. You're going to take it down to floor 5 and then down to floor 3 and that's where you leave it. So you know you're pulling up a little bit but it's not too uncomfortable, you can maintain it, that's the important part. Then imagine you've got a belt around your middle, 10 notches on the belt. You're going to pull that belt into notch number 10, so as tight as it'll go comes out to notch five, out to notch three, and we leave it there. So you've got a certain amount of tension around the center of the body. Core muscles are engaged. Neutral spine is in place. We then have to focus our breathing on coming from our rib cage. Our hands place on, fingertips touch, we take a deep breath in. Now as we open the ribs, the fingers part and release. Deep breath in. That's known as lateral thoracic breathing. Okay, so gently begin to pedal through your feet one side to the other. Allow those shoulders to gently rotate one way and the other. Good. Place the feet down, lift up. So now we're doing is mobilizing the body a little bit. So we're getting ready to work. Just allowing these muscles to warm up. Good. And release. Take a nice wide start. Just ease across from one side to the other. Make sure the knee doesn't go over the toe. Bringing one arm round, rotating from the shoulder, keeping the chest up and open, and change sides. Rotate round. Well done. Holding it in the middle, arms come out to the side, breathe in. As you breathe out, lower down, turn to look to the hand. Breathe in, come to the centre and change sides. Good. So we're lengthening through the waist. We're turning our head to look to the fingers. We're controlling the movement, we're using the body and we're breathing deep, full breaths. And then you're gonna hold it in the center. You're gonna bring the arms in and just step those feet into hips distance. Soften the knee, hip points forwards, breathe in. Now breathe out, rotate to the side, breathe in, come to the middle, and then breathe out and rotate the other side. Good. Now to go a little bit further, just allow the arm to come round and follow the fingers. We're gonna try and keep our hips nice and still. So if you imagine you've got a headlamps on your hips, 
four beams out ahead. One more to each side. So the movement is coming through the back, spinal rotation, and release. You're just going to tap one foot forwards and back. You're going to take the foot from the floor and just sweep that leg forwards and backwards. Point the toe. Lift the knee up and balance, and then take the leg back. Lift the knee up and balance, then take the leg back. Better on the floor than a foam mat for my balance. Good. Knee comes up, and then you're going to take that leg back and reach forward as far as comfortable. Knee comes up, balance, and then take that leg back. Always hold on to something if you need to. You can always just keep that foot down. And then bring that knee up, rotate the ankle one way, and the other, and place the foot down. Other foot, just tap that toe forwards and backwards. Lengthen the body, take the foot from the floor. We're sweeping that leg forwards and back. Lift the knee up, and then take the leg back. Lift the knee up, take the leg back. Lift the knee up, this time sweep that leg all the way back. Arms through. Lift the knee up and balance. Remember, if you don't want to go all the way, just keep that foot down. And then all the way through, you can stay here. Or bring that leg up. Release, balance. Ankle goes one way. And the other and then place that foot down. Standing towards the back of your mat then please, or whatever it is your leg down to. Breathe in, chin to the chest. Breathe out gently, roll down through the back. Soften the knees, allow the arms to hang and relax. And then when you're ready, breathe in. And as you breathe out, roll up through the back. As you reach the top, relax the shoulders, chin up off the chest. Breathe in, chin in. Breathe out, gently roll down. Soften the knees, allow the arms to hang and relax. And when you're ready, breathe in. And as you breathe out, begin to roll up. Rebuild the back, vertebrae by vertebrae, all the way up into this nice, neat, tall tower. We're gonna roll down and make our way down to the floor into a downward dog position. Breathe in, chin to the chest. As you lower down, you're gonna walk your hands as far forward as comfortable, keeping the feet flat on the floor. So you've got this nice lengthening through the backs of the legs, through the hamstrings, head is between the arms. Now, if you've got high or low blood pressure, having your head in this position may make you feel unwell, in which case, your option is to come down into your hands and knees, and you're gonna do a cat stretch. Breathing round the back, Breathe out, release. Breathe in, round the back. Breathe out, release. If you're in this position, we're going to bring the knees down. Breathe in. Breathe out to place it back. Breathe in. Now your core muscles should be zipped up. Knees are coming down towards the floor. Good. Hold the knees above the floor this time. And just take two deep full breaths when you've done those two lower those knees down take those hands out wider than the shoulders you're going to breathe in bring the chest down and breathe out and push up breathe in bring the chest down breathe out and push up box position is level one legs further away is level two breathe in lower the chest Breathe out. If you want level three, you're up on the toes. Breathe in to lower. Breathe out to lift. Carrying on for me. It is a whole breath in to lower and a whole breath out to come up. Working across the chest, keep the core engaged, keep the neutral spine. At your level, using the depth and pace of your breathing, Please complete one more repetition of push-up. When you've completed that one, you can bring those hands back in. So you're back to this box position. Wrists, elbows under the shoulders, knees underneath those hips. Back is flat. Don't dip or arch that back. 
breathe in as you breathe out one leg pushes all the way back breathe in bring that leg in other leg so try and keep your head and neck in line with the spine I know you might be trying to look at a TV screen or a phone or a computer but try once you've got the idea to keep that head in place breathing out to lengthen you can then raise no higher than the body breathe in toes touch down at their furthest point and then bring it in so your toes touch the floor first and then bring that knee in don't a lot of the time i see this all right don't do that you're pushing it out which then means that you need to pull it back in if you want to go further opposite arm can slide out along the floor breath in bringing everything back in and if you want to go further arm and leg fully extend then they raise they touch down and draw back in breathe out lengthen and lift breathe in lower and draw it back in keep that back flat and still so imagine you've got a tray of drinks resting on your back we don't want to spill a drop so you have to keep everything under control one more on each side for me please this is swimming strengthening for your core and lumbar spine once you've completed those two and don't rush them once you've completed them you're gently going to allow yourself to come down so you're on your forearms and elbows now head position is still in line with the neck and you're looking down at the floor okay coming into our hip drop we're going to breathe in as we breathe out we're going to draw the pelvis up okay so the pelvis is lifted the belly button should feel like it's being pulled up through the spine breathe in as you breathe out lower the hip to one side breathe in come to the middle breathe out lower the hip to the other side breathe in come to the middle so we're allowing that hip to gently lower from one side back to the middle then to the other side and back to the middle so we're always coming back to that central position if you want to go further lift those knees up off the floor keep working for me please don't look down the body to see what is happening with the hips keep your focus down on the floor imagine that there's a nice picture of someone you love there and you're just looking straight down at them so for me this is Chris Hemsworth Idris Elba good breathe out lower breathe in lift I just like saying their name sometimes I'll practice Shirley Hemsworth that sounds quite good actually Good. I'm going to ask you for one more to each side and then you can gently lower all the way down onto your front. Now, your forehead will be down. Arms are going to be down by your sides and important here, the palms face the ceiling. All right? Big toes touch, heels drop out. So the bottom is going to stay relaxed, the legs are going to stay down and still. You're going to breathe in. As you breathe out, peel up the chest, shoulder blades back and together and my palms face the floor. And then breathe into lower. So this lift and the rotation all comes together. They're not separate moves. So you're going to breathe out to lift shoulder blades back and together and into gently lower. Lift and squeeze. So as you start to come off the floor, those shoulder blades are starting to squeeze back. Now, what's happened to your belly button? It should be drawn up. Breathe out, lift and squeeze. Breathe in lower. So this is your rear deltoid squeeze. So this is working through the top of the back, through the mid back, round those shoulder blades. You're also working your core because hopefully you haven't allowed that belly button to drop down, okay? Legs are relaxed, so we're not squeezing the bottom or lifting those legs. And in your rear deltoid squeeze, palms face down at the top. I'm going to ask you for two more repetitions. 
remember, work with your own pace, okay? Don't let me rush you. You could always, I know we're live now, but if you did this at another point, you could always um, pause and do a few extra if you wanted to. Good. And then from here, release the arms. Forearms and elbows to leg pull. So knees down, level one. We did the hip drop, yeah? This time we're not moving, we're just holding it still, so it's a leg pull. Strengthening for the core and the lumbar spine. Knees down, level one. Knees up, level two. Make sure the bottom isn't in the air. If you want level three, guys, I need you to put your hands down, wrists, elbows, shoulders in line with each other, and then come up onto those toes. Make sure nothing is wider than the body. So elbows, wrists, underneath the shoulders, those legs are in line with the body. We haven't come down the body and then allowed our feet to come out. Straight line. Your choice on level. Every level is the same muscle group, the core. So pull it up. Imagine I'm drawing that belly button up towards the ceiling. Deep, full breaths. So in your leg pull, at your level, and you'll see I often use an easier level myself, not just because of my lower back issues, but also because I can feel it here, so I know I'm working, I'm listening to my body, I'm going to ask you for two more breaths, and once you've done your two, you're gently lowering down. You're going to turn onto one side. Good. And you're going to lengthen your body out into a nice long line. Sorry about that, my son was hoovering. It doesn't happen very often and we've got it on video. Wow. Head is down. Point the fingers, point the toes. This hand is there for your balance, okay? So we're gonna breathe in, and as we breathe out, we raise both those legs without rolling, without tilting those hips forwards or back. We've stayed in a straight line. Hand is there for balance, you're gonna breathe in. As you breathe out, kick your top leg forwards, then breathe in and return. This time that leg is gonna go backwards. Breathe out, kick back, breathe in, return. So point the toes away from you, It's going forwards, back to where it started, and then backwards. So we're always coming back to the starting point. Now, if the backward kick is uncomfortable, just do the forward. As that leg comes back though, be careful, because very often people will try and take that leg further, and then that leg will bend. You've got to keep it as straight as you can. Your next level here, is to introduce the bottom leg as well. One goes forwards, one goes backwards. Remember what I said about keeping the legs straight. Hand is there for balance, but if we don't need it, we take it away. Breathe out to kick, breathe in to return. Lengthen through the body, point the fingers, point the toes. I'm gonna ask you please, for three more breaths. When you've done your three, legs are gonna to come together, they're gonna to stay together. If you need to, bring that hand back down. We're gonna add into this a shoulder slide. Now, your head stays stuck to your arm. So you're not moving your neck. So your head, your neck are still. The movement, the lift, comes from under the body. So head stays down. Breathe out, lift up. Breathe in, lower down. Now if you need to take your legs back down to the floor, you can, all right? But if you can keep them raised, excellent. You're gonna get that extra little squeeze into the obliques. Hand is there for balance, but don't push down into that hand. Lift through the shoulder, through the waist. Even if you're only making a very small movement, you're still working, okay? Breathing out as you come up, keep the head stuck to the arm, breathing in as you lower. 
deep full breaths from the rib cage. Breathe out to raise, breathe in to release. And I'm going to ask you please, in your shoulder side, for one more. Then you can allow those legs to lower. Bring those legs in, give the hip a rub if you'd like to. You're then going to push yourself to sit. I want you to lengthen your back, chin up off the chest, legs are bent, feet are down. You're going to breathe in and tilt the pelvis under and bring your feet off the floor. Big toes touch, knees are dropped out, okay? You can either hold your feet here or your ankles here. If you need extra support for your lower back, you can always take your hands down. Now, if you are really worried about rolling back or you're not balancing very well, you can always keep your toes down, all right? But keep those knees dropped out. You're gonna breathe in as you breathe out. Lengthen one leg out, breathe in, return. Other leg, breathe out, lengthen out. Breathe in, return. So this is called an open leg rock up, okay? This is the open leg part, your next option. Both legs go out together. Breathe out to kick, breathe in to return. My knee's cracking nicely there. Good. All the time, you have got that tailbone tucked under. Breathe out, kick, breathe in, return. Now, if you want the rocker part, Make sure you've got space, you're not going to bang your head on anything. Breathe out, roll back, kick, breathe in, come up. So legs go out as you roll back, and then as you come up, big toes together, knees out. So open leg, rock up. Remember, your option, your first level, is one leg on its own. Then both legs together, then add the roll. Tailbone tucked under, core muscles in place. Two more for me, and one with each leg if you're on that one leg option. And when you have completed those two, you can place those feet down. Good, stay lengthened, chin up off the chest, arms come forward, breathing tilt, breathe out, open the chest, follow the arm, breathing, come in and up. Breathing tilt. Breathe out, open, breathe in, bring the arm in, and come up. Good. Core muscles in place. Breathe in, tilt, breathe out, open. Breathe in, bring the arm in, breathe out, come up. So we're tucking the tailbone under. We're using two separate breaths. Breathe in, tilt, breathe out, open, that's one. Breathe in, come to tilt, breathe out, lift up, that's the second, all right? So we're alternating on an oblique roll up, so we're working our waist. If you prefer, you can have your legs out straight. Now that is just an option to where you feel comfortable. Sometimes if you've got lower back issue or short, tight hamstrings, legs out straight may be more comfortable for you. Make sure those legs stay nice and still though, don't let them wobble. Breathe in, tilt, breathe out, open. Breathe in, come to tilt, breathe out, come up. You're gonna do one more on each side for me, please. Your oblique roll up, tucking that tailbone under, and once you've completed both of those, you're gonna carefully allow yourself to lower all the way down onto your back. Now once we're down on our backs, our legs are bent, our feet are down, we're making sure we've got that neutral, comfortable spine. We haven't pushed our lower back down into the floor. We've drawn in the core muscles, the hips are parallel. So from here, just bring the heels and touch closer to the bottom. We're going to come into shoulder bridge. So we're going to take a breath in and just tilt the pelvis under and then breathe out, release. All we do is breathe in, tilt the pelvis under, breathe out, release. Don't squeeze your bottom. We're tilting and squeezing from below the belly button and release. Now, if that is enough, absolutely fine. But if you can, 
breathe in till breathe out peel the back up into shoulder bridge and then you're going to breathe in and as you breathe out you're going to slowly begin to lower vertebrae by vertebrae down to the tailbone release breathe in tilt breathe out come all the way up breathe in at the top breathe out gently lower vertebrae by vertebrae lowering down through the spine good so we tilt the pelvis we roll up we breathe in we breathe out to begin to lower stay with that if that is enough guys okay breathe in till breathe out come up breathe in arms go over breathe out arms come down breathe in nothing and then breathe out lower the back so we've added in the arms which is going to open up and lengthen through the core and also mobilize around the shoulders remember your very first level breathe in tilt breathe out release it is absolutely fine to stay with that guys yeah your next option was to add that lift coming up into shoulder bridge you're always breathing at the top and then breathe out to lower vertebrae by vertebrae your next option was to add those arms and in your shoulder bridge where we're strengthening through the lower back the core i'm going to ask you for one more repetition when you've completed that one just take those feet a little bit further back out into your set up position breathe in breathe out lift one leg up into a right angle knee is above the hip ankle is in line with the knee so you've got a right angle behind the knee shoulders down relaxed core muscles are in place imagine a spirit level resting across your hips bubble of air central and still we're going to make two movements with this leg we're going to breathe in as we breathe out we're going to lengthen it away and as we breathe in we bring it in as we breathe out we keep it bent we touch the toe down we breathe in and we lift that leg up so we lengthen one leg stretch we keep it bent and lower through the hip not the knee into scissor that other leg remains nice and still imagine you've got a glass of water resting on that knee okay so you have to keep it balanced and still but you could take this a level further by bringing that other leg up but again keeping it still one leg stretch the legs drawn away scissor it stays bent toes touch down core muscles zipped up pulled in sorry guys there's loads of noise going on in my kitchen today i do apologize good i'm going to ask you for one more of each of those moves then you can allow that foot to carefully come all the way back down when you're ready you'll breathe in as you breathe out you'll raise that other leg up knee above the hip ankle over the knee right ankle breathe in as you breathe out it lengthens away as you breathe in it comes in it remains bent breathe out touch the foot down breathe in lift up now your core muscles are allowing that movement to be smooth and controlled they're also preventing this other knee from wobbling away strengthen and lengthen through the core and the lumbar spine deep full breaths breathe out to lengthen breathe in to return breathe out to lower breathe in to lift working through the core on that scissor maintain the angle movement from the top of the leg you want to go further that other leg is up but of course that is an option good one leg stretch scissor combination and i'm going to ask you please for one more of each of those moves if you've got 
got both legs lifted, one foot at a time, comes all the way back down. And if you want to, you can give yourself a nice long body stretch here. Good. And then release and transfer over onto that other side. Make sure you take a drink if you need to, guys. everywhere. Lengthen out the body into a nice long line. Head rest down on the arm. Point the fingers, point the toes. Hand is there for balance. Hips, knees, ankles all stacked. Breathe in. As you breathe out, raise those legs. Now remember the top leg starts first. We need to know where our range of movement is and we need to know what level we can work at. Take breath in. As you breathe out, kick forward. Breathe in and return. As you breathe out, kick backwards. Breathe in and return. So here, you will know if you only can manage a front kick or if you can get that back kick in as well. But on both those movements, those legs remain absolutely straight, all right? Then you've got that option, top and bottom leg move in opposite directions. Keeping those legs as straight as you can. Hands are there for balance, but if we don't need it, we take it away. Keep looking forward, don't look down your body. Breathe out, kick, breathe in, return. Without rolling forwards or backwards. Strengthen from the core and from the obliques. I'm gonna ask you please, in your side kick, two more breaths. When you've done your two, legs are going to come together. Take that hand back down if you need to. Keep the legs lifted and lengthened, okay? Remember, your head stays still. Breathe in. As you breathe out, slide up the shoulder. Breathe in and release. Breathe out, slide up the shoulder. Breathe in and release. So we've got this shoulder slide. Hand is there for balance. If we don't need it, we take it away. The height at which you are raising depends on you. Don't try and go too far that the rest of the body then has to compromise its position. Everything else from below the bust line is still. Breathe out as you lift. Breathe in as you release. All the time the head stays down. We're not moving the head. We're lifting up the underarm. I'm going to ask you please, for two more repetitions here, squeezing into that waist. When you've done those two, those legs can gently lower. And by all means, give that hip a little bit of a rub if you would like to. We're going to carefully bring ourselves round into box position. Good. We're going to sit back on our heels and stretch around our shoulders and our glutes. Coming back up into box, just bring the hands closer to the knees. Curl the toes under and push back into a crouching position. Now we are going to be making our way to stand, so if you need to hold on to anything, that's absolutely fine. Don't rush, because if you do pass out and you're on your own, we won't know. Tap the chin in, place the feet down, and then slowly, in your own time, begin the process of rolling up through the back, rebuilding the spine, vertebrae by vertebrae, all the way to the top. Relax those shoulders down. Lengthen the body. Make sure you've got that even distribution of body weight. Central and upright. Lift up onto your toes. Are you balanced? And release. Try and keep the core and the neutral spine is in place, sorry, in place as long as you can. Can't get my words out. Lift up onto the toes and release. Let's just take one foot away. Balance. Just see if you can close your eyes and hold that for a moment. Take the foot back down. 
other leg comes away, balance, close your eyes if you can. Whoop. And place that foot down. That's something that you can progress, that's something you can practice and try and make better. So every now and then just literally find your centre, take the foot from the floor and just see if you can hold it. Typical because you can't see that I'm actually on one leg here. <laughs> yeah, so you can progress that, you can just practice that every now and then and that's all going to help. Just remember to engage the core and lengthen your back. So that's your Pilates for today. Please enjoy the rest of your day. The sun is shining, it looks beautiful out there. Maybe get some gardening done or just go outside, walk around your garden and take in a nice few fresh air breaths. Um, we are back at four o'clock with legs, bumps and tums if you would like to join me for that. If not, we've got Pilates again tomorrow morning at 10 o'clock. Well done guys, thank you so much for joining and we'll see you again soon.